Welcome back to Sumster Games, the place to find new strategy games, and today we're going to play Space Mining. And this is a card puzzle game, let's say. So let's start a brand new game. We're going to be playing with the dumb AI because the smart AI is a little too smart. The dumb AI is a little not smart enough, but uh, it's certainly, if we play with the smart AI, it's just going to lose again. So let's begin. So I am here on the left and my element is void. We've got an enemy over here and his element is fire. There are five elements in the game. There is void, fire, wind, nature and water. And some cards are specific for your color. Now at the moment I don't have any specific cards but we're gonna get them later on. So for your specific element. So what is your goal? Your goal is to destroy the enemy's elemental orb which is this thing, mine is over here. And the way to do that is you create elemental chains. So if you have multiple gems of the same color, for example here, this is a nature chain because it's green, they connect up. And if they are touching another elemental chain or a singular gem, they will convert it if they're stronger to them on. So they will essentially eat up the other chain. And your goal is to have an elemental chain that can eat up the enemy elemental orb. We can see that the elemental orb has a power of 12. So it's pretty strong. So you need to have your own chain that's of a higher power to destroy it. Now you may notice that some of these tiles here are closed. So essentially because the ground is up so it doesn't count. So you can destroy that with this mine card. You can essentially make a hole and connect it up if you'd like. Some other things you can do is you can create imperfect. You can create gems in all adjacent empty cells but a 25% chance of having a random gem. And you can play this on any gem you like. Ideally you want to play it on gems, gems of your own color. So in my case on purple. You can always play one card per turn and cards do not have, well actually some of them have a cost, but the ones that I have in my hand right now do not have a cost. So what can I do? Like I said, I can mine, I can create imperfect, I can also use a meteorite so I can bury three times three square of ground with solid rocks. This can be useful if the enemy has already a chain made and you want to bury it to make it not work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create imperfect over here. It's going to create three gems around this. Unfortunately, I didn't create a chain. I was kind of hoping it would, but that's okay. And he actually covered it with ground. Okay, so we can connect that up. All right. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to play this. Actually, we've got power down. Okay, so uh, the gems can be of different level. At the moment, we only have level one gems, but they can level up. If they level up, they're going to be a bit stronger. And some cards have a cost that you have to use a level of specific power in order to be able to play it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this mine thing and I'm actually going to create a hole here. So this gives me a chain so I can connect up to this one. You can see I've actually changed it to get the chain of that power. Now what he did is he created a chain around his orb so that he can make himself a bit stronger. That's actually a pretty good idea. But we're not going to do that. Instead we're going to connect up this way and then we're going to do what he does. So we can create a much bigger chain here. So I'm going to do create imperfect. So should we do that already? Yeah, go on. Seriously, you just get different colors. That's unfortunate. All right, so at this point, my Jane Chim has special ability. So you might want to use something around. For example, we could use the create imperfect again to get a bunch of um, purple voids. And now we have a pretty good chain of power 22. He has chain of power 20 and we're going to connect all of this up. So what I want to do is I want to create more space so that I can connect up to these other chains and make this so much more powerful. So we have ended our turn. We're going to let him go. And you can see that all of this is becoming mine. All right, that's good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to connect this up. So now we have a chain of power 35. So the next thing I want to do is I want to destroy the smaller chain that he's got over here. So I'm going to keep using this create imperfect so that I can just connect up because I'm stronger at the moment. So I don't need to use any like special abilities. I just need to take my, take my time to go there. Now notice here, this is a level two gem. So this increases the power of this, but we're still stronger. So we're still doing okay. Let me actually, what we could do is we could just bury this. Make it a bit more difficult so this is not connected up. He could of course destroy, the, uh, open the ground again on his turn, but he's focusing elsewhere, which is quite good for us. And then we could, we could for example reveal this area so that when we can continue moving forward with our main chain. I wish I would get some like specific ability for the word, but we can't seem to be getting anything. It's okay. We could also decrease experience to zero in a three by three square. This means that we're going to make his, um, 
his gems less powerful, so they will not level up as quickly. So for example, we could do that over here and make sure that he cannot get a higher level gems anytime soon. All right. This is create the void gems in all adjacent empty cells. That's actually quite good. Where could we use that? I might actually just want to use it like somewhere here. We have to play it on our own gem. So maybe there would be useful. Yeah. Making sure we can crown. If 86 power, we only have 24, so we're pretty much fine. All right, so this is finally a gem that requires, uh, this is finally a card that requires a gem of a certain power. And what this is going to do is that any gem except void gems mine, touching an empty space will be destroyed. You have to play it on a level 4 gem of your own color, which currently is my main gem chain. So I'm going to do that. And you can see that all of these got destroyed because of my super cool ability. That went quite well for us. I want to mine and ooh, plague. Any gems touching the gem chain will be destroyed and the plague may spread. But I cannot play it on an enemy chain, so that's not going to help us much. Let's instead try to make a connection. We want to go towards him because we will be able to destroy him very quickly. So I want to get there. Let's do create imperfect to make a connection. We've got another void eats. We might we might want to do it. It's going to create a bit of a hole there. I don't know if it's necessary though. Avoid. Ah, let's do it. Let's do avoid eats. Do we have a level four gem though? We do not. Not right now. By the way, these black arrows means that the gem is about to level up. Power down a gem, it's to level one and had a small chance to hit surrounding gems of the same type. Sure, let's power him down. Why not? Alright. We still don't have any level four gem. That's alright. Let's do another mine so we can create a bit of a space here, connect up a bit closer. We're gonna have to use another create imperfect or something like that just to connect up to him because we're not touching him and that's a bit of a problem. Yeah, create imperfect over here. I'd really like to show you a level 4 gem, but I don't know if we can have enough experience for that. No, we're gonna we're gonna destroy him this turn. Create a void gem in empty spaces of your territory. We don't have any empty space on our territory, we own all of this, so it doesn't matter. But either way, we're gonna destroy him this turn. You can see that we now turned his um, his elemental orb and we are now victorious. Unnamed wins. You can also click over here later on if we win enough we might get some equipment so we could equip it on ourselves and give ourselves some sort of a bonus. But we don't actually have that yet. We also gain additional cards as we play. So for example we have now gotten a card back to Origins. Put underground a 7.7 .7 square and transform it in nature gems. So we could put this onto our nature deck. So if we get gain nature element, we will have this in our deck of cards. We also have undergrowth. Expand the nature territory by one around an already owned position. Electric link. Link a gem far from the orb to the orb by a chain. Ooh, that's actually quite cool. I like that a lot. And claim. Assign the territory to the owner of a gem over it. That could be useful, I guess. But not crazy we're just gonna leave it random now if it's random i think it's like randomly applied to any deck of cards and if you put in a specific deck of cards then you get it there so yeah all right so this was space mining i hope you enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed the video if you did write down in the comments and you can click on the right to watch some other strategic puzzle games i'll see you there bye bye